Hey, what's up folks? And welcome back to another exciting video on my channel. Today, I have a special treat for you guys that can take your filmmaking experience to another level. Starting out in my early days as a filmmaker, the GoPro, this is actually the GoPro Hero 10, but I used to use the GoPro Hero 3 or something like that. And yeah, and the GoPro was the go-to camera when I first started producing content online. And as awesome as the GoPro was in my early days, I'm excited to test out a new breed of rugged action cams. Introducing the Insta360, an action cam with 360 video recording capabilities that will complement your smartphone filmmaking process. Now, together with my brother, I took both of these cameras to the Swiss Alps, to be specific, Engelberg Titlis, where we went snowboarding, and we had a lot of fun using both of these cameras. Now, I went through the various features of the One X2 and the GoPro Hero 10, also took them to the test and picked out the features I like better on the One X2 based on my specific needs. And I will give you five reasons why you might consider choosing the One X2 over the GoPro Hero 10. Hopefully by the end of this video, you will know some of the advantages the One X2 has over the GoPro Hero 10 that could help you with your purchase decision. Now, both of these cameras are great and are excellent to use for outdoor adventures, but they're both different in their own ways. The GoPro ranks high on the list and is a popular choice. However, considering the capabilities of the One X2, this action cam might be the better option depending on your shooting needs. Now, reason number one for choosing the One X2 over the GoPro Hero 10 is that the One X2 offers the 360 mode that allows you to capture everything around you while the GoPro Hero 10, on the other hand, is more of a point and shoot camera. And being able to capture the entire space in all directions allows you to compose your shots in post however you like. That way you can enjoy the action ahead of you without worrying about the framing in the video while recording those unforgettable moments. Now with the GoPro Hero 10, on the other hand, if something moves out of the frame, you simply lose that shot. Now, the second reason is that the One X2 also offers the same capabilities that a standard action camera provides by shooting in steady cam mode. It locks the horizon and keeps the image leveled. With the GoPro Hero 10, you will have to additionally purchase the max lens mode for the horizontal lock feature. The steady cam mode offers astonishing 150 degree field of view, which is 30 degrees wider than on the GoPro Hero 10 to capture more in the frame. I also can record in a higher resolution and frame rate up to 1440p, 50 frames per second that allows me to shoot in slow motion, which can be incredibly useful to turn your fast action into smooth shots. So you basically have two cameras in one with the 360 mode and the steady cam mode. Now, the third reason why I prefer the One X2 over the GoPro Hero 10 is it's capable of blending out the selfie stick when filming. When watching the video, it feels like a drone is following you. This makes the shot more dynamic because the viewers are not distracted by the long pole. It does a great job of removing the selfie stick and makes the footage look natural. Now, reason number four is the Insta360 app. With the Insta360 app, the files stay on the camera and you don't have to do the whole step of transferring the files. Now, this not only saves time, but the app offers a lot of advanced tools for creating engaging content. With the GoPro app, you will have to take all the files to your phone before you can start editing the video. Now, some of my favorite features on the Insta360 app is Deep Track, where you can let the camera follow you without having to worry about being cut out of the frame. This is great if you're shooting alone and want to have the camera track you. Another great feature is the Snap Wizard option, where I can move my phone to adjust the framing in my shot. This not only makes the editing process quicker, but it's also a fun way to edit 360 videos. Insta360 is really working on making the whole editing process easy to use. And for those that enjoy editing on a phone, this is super convenient. Lastly, the pricing is a major factor in any purchase decision. With the One X2 competitive pricing at $429, it is $120 cheaper and more affordable than the GoPro Hero 10 at $549. 
dollars. With the less expensive One X2, you have a camera that is packed with exclusive features that you won't find in the GoPro Hero 10, which requires you to purchase additional accessories to extend its features. Now, for whom is the One X2? Now, the One X2 is great for those that want to focus more on content creation. Being able to shoot 360 videos makes you think different about the creative process and delivers the idea of a camera team in your pocket. For me as a one-man crew, it is just great having the freedom to reframe my shots in post. If you're a vlogger, the One X2 gives you a lot of creative options for capturing B-roll material. I like using it, especially for overhead perspective for capturing behind the scenes footage uh, by placing the selfie stick in my bag. For uploading videos online, the quality of an exported reframe 1080p footage looks great. I'm sure Insta360 will come with a higher resolution in the future, but it's still incredible that the One X2 is able to capture 5.7K footage. Now, if you enjoy editing on your phone, then the Insta360 app is a wonderful option as it offers advanced tools that will cut your editing time into half. Now, the thing I like most about the One X2 is that I can record special moments in my life without having to think about the camera. When using a smartphone or any other standalone camera, I must decide what content I need to capture. For that reason, the One X2 is a great addition to my filmmaking kit. So I hope this video helped you inform in making a better purchase decision when it comes to the Insta360 One X2. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this video. Feel free to write me if you have any questions. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe as this will help me make more valuable content for this channel. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video.